hi guys welcome to Android guider so in this video we are going to do a quick review of the octo s room so as you can see that this room is based on android marshmallow 6.0.1 it comes in with the 2016 security patch 2 the build date is 11th of august and the stock kernel is at permissive by default additionally the developer options are not enabled by default so if you want to enable them then you need to tap on the build number seven times to do that okay so most of the settings which the room packs in are present under the tentacles application which you can access from the app drawer and there is one more way from uh, where you can pull out the tentacles application you can uh, you can just go to settings and uh, scroll down to about phone and then go to just tap on the build date uh, one time and then you would be able to see all the settings which the room has to offer and then if you want to hide the tentacles icon from the app drawer you can do that too from in here okay so first of all we do get the app circle bar and uh, it is dif disabled by default so you know the uh, what the app circle bar does is um, you know uh, first of all you need to select a trigger region uh, and when you tap on the when you touch on the trigger region uh, certain apps which you have selected from this uh, from the included apps option uh, you know you can just uh, quickly access all of them uh, by click on this by tapping on the trigger region a single time and then all the apps will pop up in the form of a circular arc and then you know say if i want to open the clock i'll just tap on the clock uh, one time and it will open the clock so uh, that's what uh, app circle bar is all about and then you can customize various aspects of the trigger region to the width position and the height um, you know the position uh, you can just uh, uh, you know configure it whether you want to place it in the upper part of the screen or uh, on the lower part of the screen using this position then height it's pretty clear by the name itself and then the width uh, you know you can also customize the width so that's all what we have got in the app circle bar and then we have the buttons uh, so if you have got if your device has backlit keys then uh, you can customize the illumination timeout too then we do get the left handed mode uh, wherein the navigation bar would be placed on the left left side of the screen when the phone is in the landscape mode then we have the show the arrow keys show arrow keys while typing then next up we have buttons and layout um, so we only have the three options which we have in uh, every room empty button search button and menu button um, I'll just go back to the default layout now um, then next up we have double tap to sleep on the navigation bar again it is disabled by default uh, again this is one of those options which are uh, mysteriously missing from most of the rooms these days and you know uh, similarly dotted circle is also missing out from many rooms these days you know the dotted circle battery icon that's what I'm talking about then we have the power menu settings uh, so the power button settings uh, you can use the power button to cut the call press the power button twice to launch the camera then we have the uh, various hardware key settings uh, the home button settings so you can use it to wake up the device answer the call you can customize its long press action double tap action similarly we have the you can use the back key to wake up the device then we have the menu key to wake up the device short press action and the long press actions search button similarly we have the short press and the long press actions in here too then we have the volume button settings uh, you can use the volume buttons to wake up the device we do get playback control control the ringtone volume instead instead of the notification one and then we do get keyboard cursor control too so you can just configure that as per you as per the way you want to we also have volume steps and the minimum is 5 and the maximum is 60 like always um, then you can also reorient the volume keys when the device is rotated then we have the uh, we have gesture anywhere uh, so again this is pretty much similar to app circle bar you can customize its location left or right and uh, but in uh, app circle bar you can't customize its location it uh, will by default pop up from the right edge of the screen you just can't change that um, and if you are enabling both the app circle bar and gesture anywhere just make sure that the uh, you know you are not placing the apps so the gesture anywhere on the right edge and if you are placing gesture anywhere on the right edge just make sure that the trigger region of app circle bar and gesture anywhere does not overlap so i'll keep it on the left edge um and then similarly just like app circle bar you can uh, uh, configure the trigger region its width position and height um i'll just decrease it a bit 
and uh, so what's different in uh, gesture anywhere is that you know you can configure any gesture uh, for uh, any app activity or uh, application you want to launch so say if i just want to launch the clock and uh, you know my gesture for launching the clock would be by drawing the alphabet c okay so what will happen is that when i will touch uh, when i will tap on that trigger region a uh, translucent screen will pop up where i will have to draw the gesture which i had just configured so the moment i draw a c it will launch the clock application similarly you can uh, do that uh, with the other applications too so that's what gesture anywhere is all about then we have the kernel auditor mod again uh, you can configure uh, you can configure the you can use kernel auditor to tweak the kernel settings and all that stuff then we have the lock screen settings so from in here you can configure the lock screen type live lock screen is there too you can configure the lock screen message the bottom lock screen shortcuts display music visualizer show the weather if you want to and then we have the lock screen wallpaper picker in the end then we have the miscellaneous tweaks uh, if you want to show or hide the toast icon you can do that we do get the wake lock blocker too um, then we have the power menu settings so a lot of options in here and we also do get advanced reboot so this is how the power menu looks like and that's it um, then we have the privacy settings so we do get privacy guard blocked color list and protected apps I have made a separate video on privacy guard and how you can use it as a tool to save up on your battery and uh, at the same time prevent miscellaneous uh, you know uh, prevent apps uh, prevent uh, harmful apps from accessing your private data so I have made a separate video on that and I will definitely put down a link below in the description for you guys to check it out um, then next up we have the recent settings we do get immersive recents so full screen um, and then if you want to show only the status bar in the recents menu then you can do that or only the navigation bar you can just configure all that stuff as per the way you want to then you can show or hide the search bar in the recents menu we do get the clear all uh, button in and we have the entire six location back in too and then in the end we have the omni recents then we have the status bar settings so from in here you can uh, choose whether to show or hide any of the uh, status bar icons which you want to so say at the moment the wi-fi icon is being shown in the status bar and so if i just want to hide it i'll just check it off and the wi-fi icon disappears so it's as simple as that then uh, if you want to show a custom greeting when the status bar is uh, when you unlock your device then you can do that <clears throat> okay so let's just quickly test it out so you can just see that greeting in the status bar and you know uh, you can configure that greeting when you will by just quickly uh, turning off the switch and then uh, by re-enabling the greeting you would then be able to configure uh, the uh, the greeting which you want to see in your status bar again uh, you know the the only marshmallow based room in which i saw this feature was aos ip and it is uh, present in octo s um, then we have the time contextual headers and we have the nature's image uh, the nature image pack and uh, they have modified it a bit um, you know it's not the uh, stock uh, nature image pack which we have in most of the rooms these days so it's a bit different then we have the clock and date settings uh, so from in here you can configure the alignment of the clock right center or left then if you want to show the ampm style uh, you if you want to show the ampm right uh, next to the clock then you can do that um, date small font size or the normal font size so you can just uh, see currently the you know the day or date is being shown to the left of the time in the top right corner of your screen uh, sorry uh, this is the small one and this is the normal one so you can choose whichever you want to then we have a date styles this is the normal one this is the lowercase one and this is the uppercase one then you can configure the uh, position of the date left of time or right of time and then we have various date formats to choose from too so that's all what we have in here then uh, you can configure the battery icon style portrait icon landscape icon circle dotted circle is present in here uh, text or you can just hide it again i would personally prefer to have the dotted circle one um, then uh, you want if you want you can show the battery percentage inside the icon or next to the icon and by default it is hidden 
then we have the battery bar settings you can choose the location of the battery bar top of status bar there you can see it uh, sorry 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 then you have it at the top of the navigation bar um, I'll just change the color so that you guys can have a look at that um, maybe the thickness okay so it is present on the top of the navigation bar at the moment and then there it is at the bottom of the navigation bar then you can configure the battery bar style a regular one is aligned to the left edge of the screen and I'll just enable the charging animation so you can sense that you know the charging animation will just um, quickly send out certain blocks of uh, charge into the battery bar uh, we have the regular one and the center mirrored one you know it is symmetrical right about the center of the screen then if you want to show the charging animation you can do that you can configure the battery bar color and the battery bar thickness too then uh, we have brightness control show the notification count traffic indicators uh, they are disabled by default then uh, you can show either the outgoing traffic incoming traffic or both the outgoing and the incoming one then you can configure its color to display unit update interval and then in the end if you want to auto hide the network arrows when there is uh, when there is no data exchange going on then you can do that and uh, uh, that speed uh, the speed threshold uh, so say you know if the data rate exchanges below 10 kbps per second then the network indicators which would uh, which which are being shown in the status bar they would be hidden automatically when you have checked in the auto hide option and then we have the quick pull down in the end so that's all what we have in the status bar settings then uh, we do get super su2 and uh, this is this one comes in with the latest uh, super su application so you do get that entire new user interface which we have when you would be launching super su for the first time then we have system profiles again uh, another stock feature of cyanogen mod and then this one also comes in with the cm theme engine and then in the end if you want to hide the tentacle uh, tentacle launcher icon you can do that too and you can also search for any settings which you want to from in here so another great feature which we have in settings real quick now we will just quickly have a uh, overview of the op settings which are uh, present in the settings menu um, so on, under other sounds we have the dial pad tone screen locking sounds touch sounds volume adjustment sounds and the charging sounds too that's all uh, display and lights you have your double tap to sleep on the status bar in here and uh, LCD density you will have to choose from preset uh, set of values or you can edit the build.pop file uh, to get a custom LCD density in notifications nothing new apps you know quickly if you want to have a look at the apps which we get um, the browser is from Sunnygen mod 11 I uh, will be covering that up to file manager they have a completely new file manager in and the launcher has a pretty healthy setting pretty uh, you, it has got a great number of optimizations too we will be covering that up so that's all what we have for the apps um, then storage and USB if you want to just have a quick review um, so for my device you know uh, most of the rooms occupy about 400 MBs but uh, this room is a bit on the lighter side and it is only occupying about 300 MBs so it's great to see that um, then battery saver So the maximum percentage at which you can enable the battery saver is 15%. Um, then uh, we have the security settings. Unknown sources is not checked in by default. That's all. Um, developer options. Root access can be configured from in here, but we do get super sudo, so maybe you don't need to worry about that then uh, android debugging so if you plan to restore your apps using titanium backup then uh, make sure that android debugging is checked in we do get the multi window mode too and then in the end we have the kill app back button so that's all what we have got we have in the settings menu um, now we will just quickly move on to all the apps which we have uh, so first of all we'll see what the launcher has got to offer 
okay so we have got a great number of settings in here too uh, so we'll just quickly cover them up uh, so as you can see that we have the you can show or hide the search bar on the home screen you can configure the grid size number of rows and columns again i'll just quickly show that to you uh, so say uh, at the moment uh, okay so at the moment the grid size is 4 by 4 number of rows is 4 and the uh, number of columns will be 4 too and uh, we'll just quickly uh, sorry sorry we'll just quickly change the grid size um, say to 5 by 5 okay so uh, maybe it won't be reflected in the rows but definitely it will be reflected in the terms of number of columns I'm um, sorry I don't know where they popped up from um, but anyways well I don't know what is uh, actually happening uh, anyways you know um, by configuring the dock size what we mean to say is that uh, you can now accommodate five icons in uh, in here uh, earlier that was four as you can see um, I mean, I don't know what actually happened, but uh, you know, uh, you can't even remove all the all those four icons which are present in the bottom edge just uh, above the dock. Um, so you know, uh, this feature really works, and you know, uh, that just might be a small bug, which uh, you know, I don't know how why it is happening though. But uh, anyways, um, then uh, you know, you can see that the grid size works, and then you can customize the icon size too. Um, then we have the dock settings so from in here you can select the number of icons which can be shown in the dock presently we have five one two three four and five sorry uh, okay and if you just want to change it back to uh, six let's see there you see you can accommodate one more icon it's as simple as that um, then uh, you can also customize the icon size in the dock too App drawer settings. You can configure the drawer style. Paged one. Currently, I'm using the page uh, the page layout. This is the page layout. Uh, you know, similar to the one which we had in uh, Lollipop. Um, then uh, we also do get the vertical style page layout. You know, similar to the one which we have in Android Marshmallow. Yeah, this is the page one. Oh, sorry, this is the vertical layout. Um, then. Uh, uh, you can also configure the portrait grid size, the landscape uh, grid size, you know, similar to the one which we did on the home screen. And then you can configure the icon size in the end. Then we have the folders. Uh, you can configure the background color, icon text color, preview color, and hide the folder name if you want to. Gestures, uh, a lot of options. Swipe up left, middle right. Then similarly, we have the swipe down gestures too. Uh, pinch pinch in and pinch out you know both of them would be the same one spread and uh, then you have the double tap general settings allow rotation and you can select a custom icon pack so a lot of options in the stock launcher uh, now we'll be moving quickly on to the apps the browser app uh, so you know if you are familiar with this uh, then this browser has been imported from Sonage and mod 11 again it's a, a great browser which we have uh, general settings you can configure the home page autofill forms uh, privacy and security settings clear cache history security warnings cookies um, location passwords uh, <coughs> then uh, we have uh, accessibility settings force enable zoom pretty handy on sites such as facebook where you can't you know just uh, zoom into the web pages um, text scaling you can adjust the font size on the web page of the web page you are browsing on zoom on to you know uh, double tap to zoom in into the web page minimum font size and then the inverted screen rendering comes up black becomes white and vice versa if you want to do that and then you can configure its contrast if you want to um advanced settings search engine you can configure that open new tabs behind the current tab java enable javascript allow multiple tabs per app enable plugins default zoom you know a lot of block pop-up the you also do get the pop-up blocker out of it the web pages or uh, text encoding bandwidth management uh, another great feature which we have so display images on the web page want to save on data just disable this feature if you're using a slow connection um, you know this will lead to faster rendering of the web pages uh, search result preloading and the web page preloading I will definitely recommend you to enable this option 
so you know if you are using google uh, and if you are on the first search first the first search page then uh, you know the moment you click on next uh, and if that if the next web page is uh, quickly preloaded then you know this is a, a great feature to have in labs quick controls slide the thumb from the left edge or right edge to open quick controls and hide the app and url bars again a great feature to have in and then use the full screen mode to hide the status bar okay so that's all what we have in the web browser settings um i just quickly want to show you that uh, zoom in feature which i am talking about you know so uh currently we had enabled that zoom in feature and uh, okay uh, well so uh there you see that um you can also you know swipe out from the left edge to view all those settings and that feature is also working and but currently i wanted to show you the and also you know quickly this is just like pie control so if you have used that it comes in pretty handy um but what i want to show you was the force enable zoom feature uh okay let's go back and uh we will just quickly reload the web page sorry uh okay let's reload it also currently you can see that i can't zoom into the web page and uh, i want to show you the settings and then we go to accessibility and we enable force enable zoom then you will just quickly reload the web page there you go and the force enable zoom feature should work uh, i don't know but it is not working as you can see well i don't have any clue why it is not working but again it is a feature which we have um then next up we have the file manager uh, we get a completely different file manager uh, you know it is it is not themed it is completely different from the sanage and mod file manager which you get in cm13 uh, so it's a pretty nice looking you can you do get a, you do have a root file browser too uh, settings for that uh, first of all you need to enable root access and uh, then a super su prompt access will pop up and you know just grant it the root access and then uh, you can also configure the theme light or dark uh sorting preferences name type size and date you know this the how the uh how the file should be sorted out by default and of course you would be change this uh, sorting order when you are browsing the files too uh, we will we will be covering that up too and then view mode simple or detailed hidden files thumbnails you can configure all that we will go back Mm. Okay, so it was waiting for that, uh, uh, you know, to grant that root access. Anyways, uh, let's go. Uh, so, by click on that plus icon, you can create a new file or new folder, and uh, uh, it also allows you the, it also gives you the option to, uh, you know, quickly zip the files and uh, the permissions too. i guess uh, that was there in the root access uh, when you are uh, you know changing the uh, root access of the files uh, i think it there was an option to change the permissions too um, if i'm not wrong anyways we will just confirm that um details you can uh, configure all that you know if you want to view all what you know how much storage the folder is occupying and all that stuff uh, when was it created and you know stuff like that then you can do that access that from details and as i showed you you can uh, zip the files so again it's a pretty healthy fe good feature to have in and now if you uh, if you'll just quickly uh, go to uh, i'll just try and you know unzip a file let's see if it works okay so it does work so another great feature to have in well i'm running pretty low on memory so uh, you know i would cancel that process i had to swipe that out i'm sorry uh, anyways but uh, you know you can see that feature works i'm running really very short on uh, memory on my sd card 
and you see you can see that you know that extraction process definitely works i'll just delete that okay uh, anyways um so uh, lastly i want to show you that permission settings if they are available um info you know again if you want to view quick info about any anything you can just click on that info icon too we also have a, a search option in um, so I'll just quickly see if I can you know, change um, and okay so it uh, looks like we can't change the permissions of the uh, of the of any file which we want to um, I might have uh, confused it with another room uh, so sorry guys um uh, anyways we will uh, now have a look, look uh, quick look at the quick toggles which we have so these are the quick toggles which are enabled by default and uh, these are the ones which you can add on so that's all what we have and if you want to show the weather in the extended uh, uh, header region then you have to check in this option and uh, it will ask for uh, uh, your permission to enable the access to the location to your location um again and then if you want to show the brightness slider in large first row tri-state location and return to the default layout so these are all the options which we have and uh, again quickly i will uh, if you want to view whether you know which location is working um you know which weather services are uh, working moreover uh, the open weather map or you know all that no weather source selected open weather map is enabled by default so i guess you know again okay so i'll just try and uh, quickly get in uh, quickly uh, tell you whether the weather works or not anyway so you can see that uh, weather is working uh, it is working fine and if you want to have a quick look at my lock screen then there you can see that whether we had enabled that weather feature too if you remember um, so then we have the 11 music player too um, tentacles so I guess that we had covered we have covered uh, we have covered it all um, and then now just a quick look at the wallpapers and the widgets which we have so wallpapers a lot to choose from too uh, currently we are running this one then uh, a couple of live wallpapers too so a lot to choose from um, widgets that's all what we have uh, we also have that slim launcher icon and power control too so using this you can quickly toggle on and off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, sync and adaptive brightness again uh, you know it looks like that they have uh, made certain changes to the power control widget because you know it is not like the uh, power control widget which uh, we are used to which I am you know which I have seen in other rooms such as uh, Resurrection Remix or AICP and you know uh, rooms which are based on CM13 but uh, I certainly don't remember seeing a power control widget like this you know they have certainly made uh, they have definitely made certain changes to the layout of this widget um, I can confirm to you that for sure um, but I don't know what the exact changes are though um, but anyways you can also use this slim launch icon to you know to launch any app uh, maybe all apps and uh, then uh, overview mode means we will have a look at the all the actions which we can launcher settings and the default home screen so that's all what you can customize and uh, additionally this room has the kernel auditor mod uh, clauditor mod are a uh, pretty different things from each other uh, you know you can have a look at the kernel auditor mod uh, thread on xda to get a uh, more info about what the changes are there again i will uh, uh, put up uh, put down a link below in the description for you to check it out so if you want to check out what the kernel auditor mod is all about then do refer to that and uh, last thing which i wanted to mention is that uh, you know you can use you can also use just uh, gesture anywhere to another great advantage um, you know you can 
well if I just want to add any gesture so you can configure activities to bookmarks contacts email folder omni switch and slim launcher shortcuts to setting shortcuts to and again if you use tasker then you can uh, launch a task by just drawing a gesture so another that's another great feature of task uh, of tasker and gesture anywhere or uh, the two of them combined they can produce great results so just make sure that uh, you know if you are a avid tasker user then uh, uh, do make sure that you use gesture anywhere too and you know it will just uh, simplify certain tasks uh, for you you know uh, so say if you want to execute a task then you would have to open tasker and you know then uh, go to that task and execute it but uh, using gesture anyway you can just pull out that uh, pull out the gesture anywhere screen up and draw a gesture and quickly launch the task so that's one of the many uses of uh, <coughs> tasker and gesture anywhere combined so uh, that's all what I think that I have got for you guys in this video. So if you guys like this video, then do give it a thumbs up and uh, If you want to get in a notification in whenever I upload my next video, then do hit that subscribe button too. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one